Hello and welcome guys. Hope you are doing well. Welcome in the next video. So in this video, we will be working on few uh, things that need a little bit uh, handling. Like if I can show you, uh, I have an event under the called uh, microwave event, right? If I click on this and here I have like and save event, right? If I click on this, it basically uh, save the event but it actually not updating over here if i can show you uh, the event name is microwave event let's see from the main menu and you guys can see it has been uh, saved if i click it again you guys can see it's now turned uh, into red color uh, so basically uh, this is a small issue that we have to fix in this video also same for the like if i click and see the result it basically not updating and from here it is updating so let's work on this in this video okay so first of all i have to go toward the home screen and or here i have custom app bar what's going to do all the views are here and then the event suite so basically i am inside event suite view so uh, for this particular let's see what is inside events suite event suite is a custom widget that is basically uh, list view builder and that wraps item event item and inside event item we just have to search for the on click okay okay so basically this is the build card widget that we guys can see over here so if we click on this card it is basically uh, redirecting us to the event detail page let's move to this class okay so basically uh, the main issue is we are sending here event data which is uh, event data right which basically data uh, document snapshot so if we do any changes so the changes is not reflecting over here right so how we can do this uh, we can do this uh, through stream builder so let's see and let's implement it together okay uh, before i have to do anything i just have to check the code one once again okay start time so basically we have to wrap uh, this column into a stream builder okay or here and the document basically the object is our document snapshot and the stream that we are listening for is firebase firestore.instance.collection and the collection is let me check what is the collection name firebase and so on. And let's wait for it to load and let's check for the another account that I have oh sorry not this one So basically it's loaded and I have click on the project All right and let's check for the build and file store database data has been loaded uh, and the event or oh sorry the collection name is events let's copy from here and let's expand this to and we just have to paste it inside the collection path and we have to listen to a particular document 
So I'm calling a doc and we have to pass the ID of the document that we are going to listen. So it's inside widget dot event data dot ID. The event data is the document snapshot that I'm sending in the constructor to this class. And then we have to call snapshot. After this, we have to do a little bit uh, uh, handling of the uh, response. So snapshot dot has data and let's negate this. This means if snapshot doesn't have data, it means inside it's inside the state of waiting. So we have to call sing, uh, center with a child circular progress indicator, right? After this, we have to create uh, or we have to extract data from the snapshot. We have to call document snapshot and, and I'm going to name it event data and snapshot dot data right and we have to mark a null safety check over here right and one more thing that we have to do is we have to copy all the information that we are extracting inside the build method and we have to shift this information to the uh, stream builder right right after this check let's paste it over here so we have pasted all the extraction of information and let's uh, change few things so we don't have to change anything that, uh, that that are coming from the user document so we just have to change things that are coming from the event data so uh, in this case we are listening or we are getting data from the uh, document snapshot that we are sending from the another screen so we just have to remove this widget widget dot so it not get data from the event that we are sending in constructor but instead it will get information from this new event data object right so now let's check for the other places too okay we have to remove from here too and over here let's move down also from here and let's check the result now if i control s okay uh, let's click on this save icon and now you guys can see it is updating on runtime let's uh, check for the favorite okay so i think i have not implemented anything upon here so let's check for this too so i have this widget and white friend after this I have a checkout join button and then somewhere here yeah up here I have not did anything with the likes right so let's copy the same thing from the event card build card and let's move down a bit build card itself okay and or here we have to check for the the like feature okay we have bookmark let's see we have bookmark and at the very end we have this feature available so I think uh, yeah this is the feature that I'm looking for oh sorry send message and uh, like yeah exactly so we just have to copy this and we have to shift on the event page view and we have to replace it over here I know it's looking kind of uh, not working let's see how we can fix this uh, first of all we have to check whether we have extracted user likes or not 
if we have extracted it above then we just have to use that particular widget okay where 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 event saved by user okay yeah we have likes so we just have to check over here but one problem we have we are just extracting the length so again we have to create a list and call it user likes and we just have to copy this block and paste over here and we have to remove this length user likes if something went wrong we just have to assign the empty array and let's see for the result now okay I'm going to uh, uh, how to start and let's click on the event and let's click on this icon so yeah guys we have updated this successfully so that's it for this video and I will be checking for any more glitches that I have in the app and I will be fixing together with you guys thank you so much for watching the video stay tuned